Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another informative video. This video is my full week using only the Nokia 6.1, an Android One device by Nokia and Google. Um, yeah, so you can get this right now at Best Buy or Amazon. Um, preferably, you can do a price match if Best Buy's price is a little more expensive than Amazon's. Best Buy will... Um, grant you the price match so um once again shout out to santana um from, from noting that for me when i did the live stream um the first time i bought it he was telling me man it's actually cheaper on amazon so i took you know my receipt back in best buy and best buy gave me the cheaper price so um the price best buy had for this phone was 229 and the price amazon had was 199 and um so yeah i saved me 30 bucks got 30 dollars back on my card so that's what's up shout out to best buy amazon but anyway um so this device has snapdragon 630 processor it's, it's kind of like low budget mid-range processor um it's really power sufficient and it's supposed to be battery sufficient so um i really haven't had any I issues really uh with the battery performance and actually the performance overall on this smartphone so i do get those you know good points i do get those um great thumbs up for that um also it has a 16 megapixel rear camera um it can shoot up to 4k video and uh full hd 1080p on uh, resolution and 720p um also has a led uh, i mean flash and a fingerprint in the back and i want to talk about the fingerprint too so that's that's on my what I don't like about the device. Um, also, I have to go ahead and make an apology. This does not have dual speakers. Uh, it's only a single speaker at the bottom of the device. So that's the only sound you're, you're getting. And that's that's another like downside. But it makes up in the headphone jack department with Nokia's headset. So... Um, if you haven't seen my live stream from uh, yesterday when I was talking about the Google and everything like that, Google Fi and, uh, you know, a lot of people were sending in the comments that I sounded crystal clear. Video quality was crystal clear. Um, it has an eight megapixel, <clears throat> excuse me, it has eight megapixel rear, I mean, eight megapixel front facing camera, uh, shoots up to 1080p. So, um, yeah, with, with that being said, I like the, the camera quality. And I like the video footage. Um, the sound quality is actually good when you're using the headphones. So keep that in mind. If you all about the headphone jack and you all about um, nice stereo sounds, um, I don't know what they got in the phone, but it sounds so much better when you put the headset in. So kudos to Nokia for that. All right. So um it's it's the android one device and like i said it's android one down there at the bottom um what does that mean you're you're technically promised to get updates um like right after like google releases the updates and security patches and stuff like that um i just recently got the november security patch and i talked about this on the stream last night i mean yesterday i recently got that security patch for november and um yeah, so I got Android 9 Pi on Nokia 6.1. Um, it's it's bare bone. It's just bare bone Android, um, stock Android, and um, it just works on this device. Um, as you can see, uh, you got the slide up and the little gestures like the pixels and stuff like that. Um, I don't have any apps in the background, but um, I, I just wanted to show you guys what the phone looks like um, in its glory and things of that sort. Yeah, so. I mean, I got to cl clean up that other page, but it is what it is. Um, also, what I like about it, it is with the fingerprint, you could, you know, drag up the notification um, toggle and drag it down. So um, that's cool. You got night mode. So you got night mode already on Nokia smartphone. Um, don't have to wait on no software update for that. <laughs> no fixes or anything. But uh, yeah, um. So, call quality is crystal clear. Um, when I was using the T-Mobile SIM from TextNow, I got um, VOLTE, I got voice over data, 
and I can like make calls. I can make calls over data and things in that sort. Um, I was talking to uh, one of my friends yesterday on the phone and she said, I sounded really good. I sounded much better than I sound um, on the mobile phone. It could possibly be because of Sprint, but on T-Mobile, I sounded real good. That's what she said. I, I told her um, this phone only uses GSM networks, um, T-Mobile and AT&T. And right now I have the, um, the Freedom Pop AT&T SIM in the second slide. And I'm going to talk about that too. So I'm, I'm using um, 4G on uh, AT&T right now, but um, the first slide has LTE voice. So LTE voice. So slot, slot one is only good for vo um, voice over LTE. And slot two, you can still use for 4G, but you can use LTE in slot one. So let that, let that, you know, seek in and, you got to think about that, which SIM card you want to have the full LTE signal versus just 4G. I mean, if 4G still works, it still works good. Um, even HSPA Plus still works good. This is a dual SIM device, and you could, or you could put a, a SIM card. So you could put two, two SIM cards, or you could put an SD card. So it all depends on your preference. And whether or not you want to save money on your cell phone bill, whether you want to just have a call and texting plan and a, a data only plan. So, I mean, it, even with that, that can still save you a lot of money. Um, this is why I say I like dual SIM devices. Um, and you can have two phones in one device. I mean, a lot of people might not like that. The fact that you have to constantly switch SIM to do whatever, but... It's just something to think about, something to kick in. Uh, this device has three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs onboard storage, and you can expand this uh, memory up to 128. But if you got like Google One or OneDrive or something like that, you can load up all your videos, all your music, all your photos in the clouds, and everything will be backed up in the cloud as long as you got the internet, as long as you got Wi-Fi or some type of data connection on your Nokia device. You'll still be able to watch your videos, uh, listen to your music um, via cloud services and things and that sort. So just keep that in mind if you don't want to go out and spend extra money on a micro SD card. All right. But it does have that. OK, so the dual is it's dual SIM supported and both SIM cards can use data. Um, and, and another thing I like is the Nokia community. Uh, OK, so it's this app called the Nokia support app. And I signed up, I set it up, I, you know, I, I, I actually chatted with a Nokia support um, team member. And, you know, that, that's one thing I asked them about was the data. Like, like how does the dual sims actually work? And basically, you have to switch them over manually. All right. Now, if you guys want me to do this a separate video, I do it in a separate video. But you have to, you have to change them separately. And then... You can connect to whichever SIM card you want to use the data on. Both SIM cards will use data. Just keep that in mind. And that, that's what I like. That's that's what I definitely like. Both SIM cards are data ready. So uh, kudos to Nokia for, you know, notifying me or, you know, letting me know that, you know, this phone is capable of doing that. All right. So um, the thing I don't like is the fingerprint mark. Like... I understand, like, they want to, like, separate the difference between the fingerprint and the camera. But I just think, like, they could have made it the camera part sideways and boosted up the fingerprint because I got long fingers. And, you know, so it's like I feel like I'm trying to reach for it, but then I'm not. And when I'm missing it, I'm really trying to use it. And then when I'm not trying to use it, I end up using it and end up bringing a notification status bar down. So, yeah, that's a hit or miss. The fingerprints are hit or miss. I kind of not like that. Overall design of the, it's a copper black. Overall design, I like the overall design of the Nokia phone. Um, no glass back. So, uh, if you drop it, <laughs> you really don't have to worry about the back breaking or cracks or anything like that. I know you guys see my Moto G6 video. Yes, the Moto G6 didn't last at all. One drop, it was done. All right, so I have to keep it in the case. With this device, I don't have to keep it in the case. Um, the only thing I'm using right now is 
this rugged case I got from one of my gigs or whatever. So I just pop it in there and it's fully protected. All right. Use it on my belt buckle. But overall design, I like it. I like the bezels. I like the bezels for the simple fact my thumbs are not in the way of the screen. But it does get in the way of that front speaker. So that's that's one downside. That's another downside I don't like is that it only has a single speaker. And it just depends on how you hear. It can be loud if, if you know, it, it just depends on how you hear. It can be loud if you're not, you know, in a, a loud place, like a restaurant or something like that. If you at home by yourself, that speaker is perfectly fine. Or if you in a room by yourself, you can you can hear perfectly fine. But just, re just remember, yeah, it's going to be buffled and everything. But I do have an app I recommend people with single speakers. Uh, it's this application called, what is it? It's called Boost, Boost, Speaker Boost. It's called Speaker Boost. You can get it on the Google Play Store right now for free. Um, turn that on, set that up. You get more bass, you get more treble. So um, even with the one speaker. So if you have a hard time listening, get that, that Speaker Booster app. Um, let's see. I mean, to be honest, that's the only two things I do not like about the device is the fingerprint and just the single speaker. Um, like I said, the earpiece is real good. I can hear people loud and clear. Um, headphone jack is really great. Also, they have an Elfin Radio app. And you can record. In the Elfin Radio app, you can actually uh, record sound. Um, it, probably won't, it probably won't show the setting, but... So yeah, you can record music um, to your device. Um, if it's like a new track out on the radio or something, you haven't heard it, or if it's some old school music you haven't heard in a while and it's hard to find, like on the web and the radio playing it, I suggest you use the Elfin Radio to record the mixes or whatever like that, and then like save it, save it for backup. So uh, kudos to Nokia for the Elfin Radio app, but also Got another alternative app called Next Radio, which is also data free um, on your device. So if you want like a low budget data plan and you stream a lot of music, I recommend using the FM Radio app by Nokia and the Next Radio app you can find on the Google Play Store. Um, oh, uh, two more things I like about this phone. This phone is a certified Snapchat and Instagram phone. Like, okay, Snapchat, it just freaking works on this device i don't know why it was giving me um issues on um the motorola phones and all that other stuff but snapchat just freaking works on um this device so yeah if you're looking for a snapchat phone nokia 6.1 is the phone also instagram is a certified this is another certified instagram um uh, smartphone so um yeah it's it's definitely working it's definitely working so yeah shout outs to i mean, maybe maybe it could be because of this this android 9 pie stuff or this android one thing but once again if you guys want to get on top of the bleeding edge of software and operate system in android you're gonna have to switch to android one because the high-end high-end devices are not getting updated like this. I mean, other than the Nokia 6.1, what other devices you know personally, high or low end, is fully updated with the latest security patch and Android 9 Pie? You can probably name maybe five phones offhand, excluding the Nokia. So you you got barely you got barely enough enough phones to pick from that's on the latest Android software and security patch. And that's what I like about Nokia. They they are they are top notch right now. They stepping their game up. They got more phones they're about to drop. Um, and, and and I think a lot of people will switch to Nokia in 2019. I I, I think 2019 you're about to see a, a change of Android, a change of the phone. Not 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 as well as like with all that other design languages and stuff, but just with security and updates. 
which phones are going to be updated very quickly. And I think Nokia has got the right niche with their, their new Android devices. Um, they do have Nokia 5, Nokia 3, Nokia 2, Nokia 7, and Nokia 8. Nokia 8 is coming out soon. So, yeah. But overall, oh, gaming. I forgot about talking about gaming. Um, man, gaming, asphalt. I mean, I just been playing nonstop asphalt. And I must say, um, you guys want me to do a, a gaming review separately, drop those comments. But the gaming performance, my bad. The gaming performance on the Nokia with Snapdragon 630 and Adreno 508, psh, it's a beast. 2.2 gigahertz processor. Yeah, this is definitely a, I, I will put a casual gamer phone. Now, I haven't tried those high-end games, yeah, like Modern Combat and stuff like that. But I did play Nova Legacy, and it was decent. It was decent. Um, but Asphalt, I have I haven't seen any drop frame rates, anything like that. So Asphalt works just great on a Nokia 6.1. Messaging is awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say about this phone. The speeds on T-Mobile and AT&T are actually what I thought they would, what I thought that it should be. So if you're looking for a phone that works on AT&T and T-Mobile and gets fully updates and it's unlocked. No carrier bloatware, none of that. No carrier control. Um, works on Metro, works on Cricket. I want to throw that out there. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> I like the phone, man. I just like the phone. The overall experience one week later has been great. I mean, other than the two dislikes, it's the fingerprint and the speaker. But the headphones, for some reason, the, the sound is much louder with the headphones. I, I don't know what it is. What Nokia doing? What type of audio software they got on here? But yeah, if you guys don't leave them, leave the comments in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the informative uh, information I gave to you about this device. It's a dual SIM supported device, GSM globally unlocked, Android nine, November security patch, USB Type C headphone jack. Oh, I forgot NFC. That's NFC. So you use your Google Play. I mean, your Google Pay. So, uh, great cameras. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see my videos. You'll see my photos on Instagram. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> here, we, here we have it, guys. The Nokia 6.1, one week later. It's a go. It's a win. All right, it's your boy, two phones. Deuces.